Hi there, I'd like to show you how to export your contacts from Outlook to MailChimp. And I've set up a, a demonstration of this on my test account. So here I've got some contacts that I've put into Peter's Posse. And you'll see in Outlook, we're using Outlook 2010 here, you'll see that they're set up for or to be viewed as business cards. Um, and the first thing I want to do so you can see exactly what's going on is to change this so we can view them as a list. So I'm going to click on view, change the view and view it as a list. Uh, and it now looks more like an Excel spreadsheet. And I'm just going to narrow this down so we can see a bit more what's going on. So we've got various fields in here that we're using. We've got the full name, which is actually a first name and a last name. We've got the job title, company name, the business phone, a mobile phone, just the standard fields that you're likely to have. And then I've also set up these contacts with categories. Um, and these are the categories um, of interests which these contacts have. Now in order to export this information into MailChimp, we need to set up similar fields within MailChimp. So let's have a look at my MailChimp list. Um, and I've created a list in MailChimp. Here's my MailChimp account. And you'll see um, if we click on the lists, let's just show you how we get there. I'll go into Peter's Posse. I've got no subscribers here at the moment. And, I'm, and I've set up groups um, and within the groups I've got my interests. So I've got one group and people can be interested in one or more of these things. And then I've also got the field names. So I've added field names for each of the fields I want to include. So I've got an email address, a first and last name, a company name, job title, phone and mobile. And these are already set up within MailChimp. Um, let's go back into Outlook. Now within Outlook I've already synchronized my MailChimp account um, with my local Outlook account so I have data. So if I look in my list details you'll, you'll see here that I've got three lists showing uh, which are the three lists which I've already got set in MailChimp and Peter's Posse is the one that I want at the moment it's showing zero contacts. So here are my contacts within the folder in a list. I'm going to highlight the ones I want. So I'll just scroll down to the bottom and highlight all the contacts that I want to export and then I'm going to click on subscribe to MailChimp lists and what this is doing is all the contacts in here are going to be subscribed to the list so I'll click subscribe and it tells me that I've selected 28 contacts I now need to select a list that I want to subscribe these to um, and the in fact the first thing I have to do is to set up a map for the MailChimp lists so I'm going to select a list which in this case is Peter's Posse um, it automatically sets up a map between the email address, the first name and the last name. And then we've got um, some additional MailChimp merge fields that we need to set up. So I'm just going to go through and select these. Now these are the field names which I've already set up myself within MailChimp. Um, so the company needs to go to company. We can just add that. The job title needs to go to job title we can add that the phone I'm going to use business phone for the phone the mobile I'm going to use mobile phone we'll add that now status is the MailChimp field status and uh, is used to track whether the contact in MailChimp is subscribed or unsubscribed and we're going to use a custom field for that so I'm going to use a custom field I'm going to create one called MailChimp status and 
I'm going to save that and that's now added a custom outlook field called MailChimp status which we're going to use and then finally my interest group which I've set up in MailChimp I'm going to link that to categories because within Outlook I've set up my interest groups within categories and I'm going to add that so it tells me all my fields are mapped um, and I can now oh I need first thing I want to do is just set the custom fields as folder fields okay and then we'll close that and now we've got a list here that where we're set up ready to go um, and if I click next it shows me which of these contacts that I've selected um, we can export into MailChimp or we can subscribe to MailChimp if there are some fields within MailChimp which have to be filled in and those fields aren't available within the Outlook contact then it won't be able to subscribe it but all the fields that I've got are available we then need to decide what notification we want um, and when we're subscribing these contacts to a list MailChimp can use the normal double opt-in feature or it can send a welcome email or it can send a no email and in this case I'm going to send no email I'm just going to subscribe them to my list and then we've got some other options on groupings if they're already there um, and if we've got contacts which have already hard bounced or soft bounced if the email addresses have already within MailChimp soft bounced or hard bounced then it will ignore those and so on um, and if somebody has already unsubscribed to this list then we can ignore that um, so I'm going to export this now so I'm going to say subscribe to MailChimp it's subscribing my Outlook contacts and we'll just wait for that to finish okay so it says it's finished doing that and if we now go to our MailChimp list and if I just go back to the list and view Peter's posse you'll see here we've got all the people who have just been added uh, and we've got 28 people added to the system I'm not quite sure why it still tells me we've got one subscriber I think MailChimp hasn't quite caught up yet but here's all the information and if we look at my interest groups it's imported the interest groups from the categories field in Outlook so that's how you subscribe contacts from Outlook into MailChimp